Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, red. Yeah. <laughs> How are you today? How are you tonight? Well, I'm sweaty because I was uh, cleaning the house. Oh, wow. A little late. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I work. I and know. What, are I know. you sick? Very sick. Mm, Super sorry. sick. Mm -hmm. I have a sore throat. I have a headache. And all my body hurts. I am in pain. I have a terrible flu. But I hope like... These coming days, I can uh, get over from from this. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if that is something related to the mosquitoes because I am super allergic uh, when they bite me. I'm not sure if that has something to do, but I hate hospital, I ha uh, so I don't like to to spend there, you know, <laughs> like or seguro yeah. social, right? To spend there four hours just for them to give you um. Bueno. <laughs> so I better buy some pills. I have my kit here. I have mm -hmm. many, many pills that I'm taking right now and antibiotics as well. And these are really good. Como que me pagan para promocionarlas, las para gripa, la grip. They are super good. They help me a lot. Believe me. Before I... Le voy a poner un ejemplo de lo que vamos a ver ahora. Okay, before I mm, drank a pill, I had, había pensado, I had thought on canceling the class. Pero no, ¿cómo puedo cancelar? How can I cancel the class, guys, if we have cancel several times so anyways i am here okay so if you see me that i am kind of down it's not because i am uh, angry at you i'm mad at you all right it's because i am a little a little sick okay so okay. i'm sorry if you hear me um with a bad uh feeling all right but it's not it's not um, my fault you know that i am always smiling i am oh, always cheating you up but today I I will just uh, ask you to please pay attention. Y se lo voy a pedir una vez más. Por favor, pongamos atención para que no me vuelvan a preguntar. I'm sorry, teacher. Can you repeat? Verdad? Porque I need your cooperation, guys. Okay. Otherwise, I will be get uh, I will get worse. Okay. No me quiero mal, eh, molestar más mi gargantita. So please help me. <laughs> as well with cameras. And of course, if you have any question, I have Brandy that she helps uh, mm -hmm. every time, right? But every, obviously, if you have any question, we're here to answer the questions, okay? Because this topic is not too common. I'm, I'm not sure if you remember the, pa the present, I'm sorry, the past perfect, all right? Maybe told me yesterday, that the past perfect was like an action that started in the past and continues to the present. That is present perfect. All right. And the difference is just the, the um, obviously when we use it, it's because use the other, the simple past and the past perfect together. Okay. Um, also, um, what else? What else? Oh. We just change the auxiliaries, right? The structure is the same, all right? Obviously, for past perfect, we only use once uh, one auxiliary. What is that? Do you remember? Had. Had, all right. And for present mm -hmm. perfect, we use two, right? Had been. Mm, that is present perfect continuous. Had, had, we use have? Or has, all right, because we use the, ah, the yeah, simple for, present, yeah. uh -huh, the verb have as auxiliary, but for third person, we change it into has, all right? So we're going to continue with yesterday's exercises. Um, give me a second. Y ahora le iba a decir de que ya tenía mucho problema con eso, con el tema que vamos a ver ahora. No problem. Uh, anyways, we we will have, I'm not sure the class has not been 
uh, reprogrammed yet. I hope uh, it is tomorrow. No, preparémonos just in case, ¿verdad? De repente nos dicen, hoy sí vamos a tener clases, pero a mí todavía no me han confirmado. Así que eh, tenemos para mañana, ¿ok? Y it's very simple, Brandy. Don't worry, ¿ok? We will, uh, we will find out how, how to... How the guys give me examples, okay? So you will give me examples and what I will do is to give you some suggestions on how to make it a little bit better, right? Remember, I'm not perfect, but I try my best to help you understand, okay? Now, uh, let me put this into, into some colors. Okay, yeah. well. But we were doing these exercises in the, um, let's see, the knowledge check, right? It was, um, there was a video that we were watching, miren, past progressive, ahí ver. When the class ended, cuando la clase terminó, so we couldn't complete the examples. Uh, we are going to listen to this example, to this audio, so we have a better notion about, about what we should um, we should answer, okay? I know most of you have done this already, but to put you in context, I'm going to play the video just for a Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll develop Are you skills in listening? listening for details. Yeah. Okay. Develop note-taking skills. Listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Hey, that was good. I didn't pay attention last night because I was like, thinking on something else, like I needed to start the class, but there was something nice that happened, right? So in your own words, before we answer the questions, because we did it yesterday, some of them, what happened in the first example, in the first audio, okay? We know that this was in Thailand. We said it is this yesterday and what happened to the first story, okay? So this is, this was the correct one, right? Okay. How big was the snake? Three meters. Three and a half meters. Yeah. Yeah. The snake was, right? Three and a half meters. Okay. And the second option, the second is the second story. This happened in. Australia. In Australia. Australia. Okay. And what happened there without looking at the story, at the options? A man was trapped while he was sleeping on a ship. Okay. Crapped. 
correct. Okay. 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 While he was sleeping, look, look, he was trapped, right? He was trapped by the by the water. Okay. You see, we're using past continuous and simple present, right? So while he was sleeping, he got trapped. All right. Oh, nice. And <clears throat> where was the ship heading to? In Singapore, I guess. Okay, nice. Now, the third story, uh, what happened and where was it? You know the options already, right? In Hollywood, in California. Hollywood, California. Okay, and what happened on the third story? I didn't pay attention. You want to listen again? Um, no, I have no. more questions. Okay, somebody? I was paying attention to somebody. Chat is uh, texting on, uh, on, on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, many people are sick. Ever say that he only will be available for... Just to listen. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, Sullivan is the same, and Carlos has flu like like you. Oh, so okay. I couldn't pay attention because I was dreaming. <clears throat> okay, no problem. Anyone? Yeah, uh, Flor, tell me. It's about two police officers that were rescued. Okay, and how did they get rescued? Thank you, Flor. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. By the thief. Ah. So, so look, past continuous there said uh, that police officers were rescued. Rescued. Mm -mm. Estaban siguiendo, persiguiendo. They were, they were chasing. chasing. Yeah, they were chasing the thief when they. They had an accident and right. so they drove into the river, right? So they had an accident and that and then what happened? The thief, the thief came back to rescue them. <laughs> yeah, so the funny story is that at the end he mm -hmm. was relieved, right? He was relieved for uh by the police because he saved his, his uh, their lives. Nice, thank you. So the third story that they were rescued by a thief where um, they were chasing. So they were chasing uh, the, the, the thief when they fell or drove into the river. Okay, past continuous, simple present. Okay, is um, no, it's not here. Okay. I was checking somebody's homework, the only person that I assigned the homework yesterday, but she's not here, so I'm going to wait uh, while she connects, okay? To um, to check the, the mistakes or how to improve the sentences. Now, the no <clears throat> now we're going, to the point for this class that is tell me uh, help me read okay one mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. <laughs> three by the, by the end of this lesson you will learn to use the past perfect tense thank you when do we say the end or when do we say the the if we have a vowel here, um, so we normally say the. If not, we say the thus the story. No, we don't say the story. All right, but in this case, that we have like a vowel here, so we say the end. All right, we we have two pronunciations there, the or the. All right. So thank you. Maybe. So I'm going to play the video so you have a better uh, understanding. Okay, and then okay. I will explain to you. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to okay. a party last weekend, but when I got there... When, so, did you see, did you hear the first explanation? 
we practically have when to use the past perfect. How? When something passed in the past, but continues uh, in the present. Mm, that is present perfect. Okay, let's listen to the first explanation really quick. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, an event that occurred or happened before another, before another event, event or in, the, in the past. Exactly. So there were two actions that happened in the past, but one of them happened before the other, but they were past. Okay. I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit. But the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago, um, I, let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to express. I went to a party last week. This is what took place last weekend. So that is that X, if you will. All right. But when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in a different color. Um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party. And when I got there, there was food at the party. And then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that. And that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see, the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker, and therefore this is what took place. Right? As so we'll analyze the examples that are there, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. All right, wait, let, let's stop there for a second. I was working out is the past event. That's that X, if you will. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event. And I have put my stuff in my locker. So th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event. So it's that little blue circle that you see there. When I came back, that's that event there. That's the uh, past event. Okay. Someone had stolen my wallet. So um, I came back, but before this event, someone had stolen my wallet. All right. They were able to steal it. That's the past event. So that's that X, if you will. Because I had forgotten to lock the locker. All right. Now, that is the past perfect event, as you can see there. Let me just give one last example here. I didn't have any money. Because I had forgotten my wallet at home. So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money. But I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in uh, a, let me go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color. Second, all right. And 
um, before this, I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home. And that's the reason why I didn't have any money, right? So as you can see, both events are, um, are related. Okay. Now, um, do you have any questions? But we will continue, obviously, with some explanation about the past perfect. So we already know that the past perfect is used to express the relation that had two events, right? That happened one before another one, another event. And I have some examples here. Okay, help me read. So, um, mm, uh, Michelle is driving. Uh, Jansi uh, Sarai, please help me read this information, okay? Okay, the past perfect tense is used to indicate a past action which is completed which is? before an, which is completed before another past action. That is correct. And we have this structure. It's super simple. As I mentioned, we only said, for example, in positive form, we use subject plus had and the past participle of the verbs, all right? Remember that we have, if we have, if we see this column, for example, um, let me see, and we say regular and irregular verbs, whatever. For irregular verbs are a little bit more uh difficult to learn because some of them change change completely all right example irregular verbs list so we have this list we i'm going to copy this list um, let me see if i can copy uh, um, an image Okay, so but we have some of them here, right? Most of them are in base form all the time, right? If we're talking about present, we change the verb only in the third person affirmative. If we're talking about the past, so we change the verb into past only in which cases? Ayer vimos lo del pasado, right? So only in which cases we change the verb in past. This is a bitter tea. Tamargo esa cosa. Uh -huh. what, uh, how, when you're talking about simple past, remember that we said yesterday, we were doing the past continuous, which is used with ing. And we contrast another idea when we say this expression, when, for example. And we use the simple past. When can we change the verb in past? Mm. I'm sorry? Happened in the past. When we're talking in the past, but especially, but if we say didn't, we don't change it maybe. That is my question. No, huh? because the auxiliary is like absorb everything. Exactly. Say. Exactly. It's like this makes just the for affirmative. Just exactly. for affirmative. That's the idea that I wanted to um to bring okay. it to bring it up. Mm -hmm. We only use the simple past for affirmative sentences. That's it. Okay. okay. Now, um, thank you. So we have the subject plus the past. Uh, they had auxiliary. And then the verb in past participle. If you see, what is a past participle? Well, you have the examples here, right? There is always a list of verbs that you have to learn. <clears throat> Cuando maté el mosquito, el zancudo ya me había comido toda. Uh -huh. When I killed the mosquito, it had already bitten me. ¿Cuál es el verbo bit? Bite, ¿verdad? Y el verbo participal es beaten. ¿verdad? Pero ellos no muerden, ellos chupan. So Pero sure. así sea. Así. Ah, 
no, ellos pellizcan. Eso ya es otro, es otro nivel, estos zancudos. No, but when we're talking about, um, any, about mosquitoes, they say bite. Okay? Bite. Bite. Okay. Yeah. I know. It's like how when a dog bites you, but no. Uh, They they actually sucks as you say sucks your 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 blood right but when you're talking about uh, the idea that they bite. the action is mm -hmm. like something. yeah oh. exactly okay. so they had already or oh, it had when I killed the mosquito it had already beaten me right so we use this column this it is had, the past part already it. we can use already como que ya me había comido toda ya me había picado mm -hmm. Uh, so this is this is optional. Remember, oh, it had been it had beaten me. It's not necessary to use uh, already, but sometimes it's used. Okay, so had and the verb in uh, have auxiliary have. Okay, que ya saben esto mejor ni, ni lo pongo porque nos vamos a equivocar que el have es para las para el presente, verdad? Y como el has. Solo ahí. Entonces, el had es simplemente el pasado. And the verb, the third form of the verb. Of the verb. Ya les dije, cabal, esa es la columnita que siempre van a ver cuando aprendamos verbos. So, and the past participle of the verb. Ok, si se fijan, para que nos ubiquemos más de qué es lo que significa had eaten, es me había comido. He comido, ya es, es algo diferente, ¿sí? He comido mucho, ¿verdad? Acabo de comer. Hace un ratito y todavía, ¿verdad? Acabo como de terminar, ¿ok? O he comido mucho hoy, pero yo había comido mucho cuando vomité, ¿ok? I had eaten, ahí ocupo el had. I had eaten a lot when I uh, vomited, or when I threw out, ¿ok? Now, if we do it in the negative form, uh, ya sabemos, los negativos, the same, we use the past, The same thing and the past parts. That's it. But what is the no? Not. You can use this contraction as well. Hadn't. Okay. Hadn't. Or had not. Okay. So that is the structure. For questions, we can see this little uh, chart here. Okay, any subject you know, we don't use the subject pronouns. We talk about somebody else. For, for example, I'm using here my friends, Titanic, uh, mosquitoes. We talk about any subject, but also auxiliary had plus the past participle of the verb. Si son regulares, el mismo pasado es, right? Es sí que es super easy when we're talking about regular verbs. Okay. Ah. Uh, Probably, if we have time, uh, I will explain to you one more time, porque ya lo he explicado, pero algunos tal vez no estuvieron conmigo. The, when uh, to pronounce the ED. ¿En qué, en qué momentos nada más? Y ya se los expliqué la vez pasada. Todos los verbos que terminan de como ED, ¿verdad? O T, que terminen así. Dead, que ya estén en contacto en pasado, y Ted, esa pronunciación sí se, sí se dice, ¿verdad? Ejemplo, started, ¿verdad? Started, permitted, added, termina con D, ahí sí la pronuncio, ¿verdad? Los demás, yo les voy a explicar más adelante, que me sienta mejor, cuando pronunciamos una D, 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 y cuando pronunciamos una T, 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 como cuando estamos T, como cuando le dice bárbara, un, un pequeño sonidito tss, como silbido. Ok, so for questions, guys, we have the structure is always the auxiliary first and then what is next? Mm -hmm. Past participle, you say. Exactly. The, mm, no. Algo nos faltó. Okay, so we say then positive um I mean questions. <clears throat> Sorry. For questions I was so mute and I was talking myself. 
There's a question. <laughs> Ah, okay, and we use the pad, yeah, for questions or for interrogative, okay? So we change, remember, we always do the change. We switch the subject to make it into the second option, all right? Into the second element of the, of the structure. Got it? Have you, <clears throat> ¿qué habías comido cuando vomitaste? Ya le pongo también una WH question, all right? What have you eaten when... Yes. You vomited. Mm -hmm. So the verb is um, in past participle or is in past? Mm, depends. The first action is in past perfect. And the second action that you relate is in past. Uh, let me give you the example here. <laughs> okay, Brandy, don't worry. I will give you the examples. Okay. Um. I had um, eaten um, too much beans <laughs> when I vomited. Vomited. Okay. Pasado perfecto. Pero cuando relaciono la otra, o sea, cuando yo vomité, Lo que ya me había pasado es que yo había comido mucho. O sea, eso fue lo, lo que pasó antes cuando yo vine a vomitar. ¿Me explico? <ríe> ok. Help me maybe. Vamos a ver si maybe, con maybe. Um, she, she, I know she understands this. No, no offense, vea. Yo sé porque maybe es una profesora y ella rapidito veo okay. que. No, I tampoco, tampoco. Been... <ríe> ¿Le entendés, maybe? Yeah, but I'm not a teacher. Ah, no, you're not a teacher. Bye. But you can explain to us. Expliquémoslo con, con las palabras de maybe. Can you explain it? Uh, you mean that when to use... Past... ¿Qué es lo que pasó? Ajá. ¿Por qué pasó una cosa y después la otra? Esa es la relación. Ok. Aquí dice, ah, because, indicar una pasada acción que pasó antes de otra acción, o sea, las dos acciones fueron en pasado ok, uh -huh. todo pasó antes uh -huh. todo pasó en el pasado ok, uh -huh. les voy a poner otro ejemplo I'm going to give you another example ¿qué es SEO? no de venta navegar ajá, alright, so I will give you this example Y no necesariamente va a ser todo en afirmativo, ¿verdad? Puedo hacerlo en pregunta, puedo hacerlo en negación. Ok, el otro ejemplo. Hagan los tres ejemplos, por favor. Ahorita. Ajá. The Titanic had, el already, pues es como que ya había esto, perdón, había con, con had en pasado, ¿verdad? Had, había navegado some days, algunos días, cuando se hundió, ¿sí? ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó antes? Iba navegando, estuvo un montón de días en, en el mar, pero después se hundió. Las dos cosas pasaron en el pasado, ¿verdad? sucedieron en the past, ¿sí? Yes? Okay, yes. okay, pero el, el, el verbo va a ir en pasado. Depende. Cuando yo digo, es cuando yo, cuando me pasó, si yo digo when, ¿qué dijimos ayer? Lo mismo que pasado progresivo, pero cuando uso when, después yo uso un pasado. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Yo había comido mucho cuando vomité. Si tenemos esa expresión de cuando, okay, entonces ahí ocupo el verbo en pasado. La expresión... When. Puedo decir, when I vomited, igual que ayer, when I vomited, I had eaten too much beans. I had eaten, I uh, eaten. Mm -hmm. Eat, eaten. eaten, ajá, eaten. El verbo es el pasado participio cuando ocupo el had, it, ¿ok? Past participle, otra vez. Past participle, aquí está. Subject, cualquier subject, luego had y luego el pasado en participio. O sea, past participle, ¿ok? Aquí ustedes van a decir started, ese es el pasado. No, el participio es como les estaba explicando, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos... Varios participios. Awake, awoke, walker. Este es el participio, ¿verdad? 
No es el mismo que el pasado. Si es verbo regular, sí es el mismo. Por ejemplo, started, ¿verdad? Pasado. Ok. Um, eh, been, por ejemplo, ya es el participio. Aquí sí hay que aprender los verbos en participio. Ok. Nice. That you will give me some examples, eh, girls, porque casi no, no veo, uh, bueno, solo a Ever y Sullivan, pero no están en la clase así, per se, right? Así que, eh, you will give me some examples, um, please. Um, so, I will, I will do the negative form, ¿ok? Pero es que yo no había comido tanto cuando vomité. Ajá. ¿Qué es lo único que voy a hacer? I hadn't. Ajá. I hadn't eaten. Uh -huh. Eaten. Eaten, eaten, eaten. Eaten. Uh -huh. Hay eaten. gente que me dice eating, pero eating es con ing, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eaten. Eaten, ok. Ya. Yeah. Me había tomado un montón de pastillas antes de que comenzara la clase. ¿Cómo lo dirían? Yo me había tomado muchas pastillas antes de comenzar la clase. I have, I have taken, taken o, taken, yeah, taken, taken, o el otro de beber. A lot of pills. Uh, dr drunk. Drunk. Correct. Okay, I had drunk many pills before the class started. Very good, the class started. Y ahí ocupo el pasado, okay? Pero es que yo ni había comido tanto para que vomitara, me hizo daño algo, okay? Vamos a hacerlo en negative. Lo mismo, solo le agregamos la palabra not, ¿verdad? I had not eaten. Sorry for the caps, guys. Ahí sí es lo siento que... I had not eaten too much beans um, when I vomited. Ok. Yo sé que me van a decir, ay, ¿por qué much y por qué no es many teachers? Eh, los frijoles no se cuentan si no, si, estamos, si no vemos los granitos ahí cuando los sembramos, ¿verdad? Si no, si es incontable, por eso digo too much. Got it? Oh, hágame la pregunta de eso. Ajá. Ah. No, que me ayuden ahí. Vamos, Her. lo único que, ajá, lo, the only thing that changes is the order. Mm -hmm. You eat much beans? Exactly. Si usted me la hace a mí, entonces ya no me dice you, ¿verdad? Yo no dice I, sino que si usted me la hace directo a mí, entonces decíamos. Had, to you. had you. Had you. Had you eaten too much beans uh -huh. when you vomited? Exactly, good job. Ay, a ver qué fácil. It's easy. All right. Got it, guys. I think this is too. And my big. heart is beating right now, but I, I had to watch more videos about this topic. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know. Um, it's complex. Believe me, this is one of the topics that uh, that some students uh, feel like a little bit mm, more complex than the others. But I, I feel I feel easy when I said like I I believe in I didn't I believe in como yo está o yo he eh, estado viviendo ajá pero ese ya es present I've I, I been doing es lo, eh, lo, lo siento como que más fácil pero con este no sé por qué no me cuesta the o sea. difference is lo que pasa es que en todos le ponemos en los otros have been have been o has been más el verbo con ing, porque no, algunos no están acostumbrados a acordarse de los participios de los verbos. Eso es lo que a veces tal vez nos cuesta, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, um, let's see. Voy a borrar esto y me dicen cuáles son el participle, right? So, beat, beat. Beaten. Exactly. Become, became. Become. 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 It doesn't change. Ahí el, pasa, el, el participio es igual que el, el, que el the inicio. Same, the mm -hmm. base form. The same. All right. Then, um, begin. Begun. 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 Begun with a U. Okay. Bend. 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 Con T. With T at the end. Bend. Bend. Yeah. Si se fijan, aquí es que tenemos esa pronunciación que a, a muchos nos cuesta. Y, eh, que yo siempre enfatizo, ¿verdad? Y más adelante les voy a explicar una vez más cuándo es que decimos 
Vend. D, d, como que quiere decir vender. Vend. Aunque se, se usa una V, obviamente, en español. Vend. D, d. Pronunciamos esa D al final. Vend. D, d. Vend. Vend. Ajá. Uh -huh. Everybody. Vend. Bend. 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 Es que algunos me dicen, y créanme que es, créanme que es bien común que en lugar de decirme bend o spend, me dicen spent. Y uno es pasado y el otro es part... y el otro es presente, ¿verdad? Y el otro sí es bent. Escuchan la diferencia, right? Bent. Como ventilador. Vendedor, all right. Do, do, Solo de, de, do. de estar poniendo más atención porque cuando yo estaba este, tratando de ver el otro compañero, ahí yo me fui dando cuenta de que de, de las eso, lo que usted logra captar, yo no lo puedo captar porque yo estoy aprendiendo. Uh -huh. Pero si yo lo escucho y lo escucho y lo escucho, yo ya ya le puedo agarrar como que el sabor se puede decir de la pronunciación. Exacto. We, uh, we get more used to, nuestro oído es más crítico, ¿verdad? Y obviamente, in my case, it's because um, first, that's why I always ask you to turn on the camera, because I said, d, d, t, mira, yeah, bend, bend, right. hasta la boca cambia, ¿ok? Yeah. Uh -huh. eh, <clears throat> por eso es que a veces le digo, ¿cómo? Repeat, porque quiero asegurarme que yo no le escuché mal, ¿verdad? Ok, so, bite. Beat and beaten. Beaten. Los demás no se pueden los verbos. Miren, calladitos se me quedan. Bueno, Susana dice que está enferma. But, all right, the other, blow. Blue, blow. Blown. ¿Qué es lo único que es, cambia? Una N, yes, ¿verdad? N, uh, with, with the N, all right. Break. N. Broke. Broken. Broken. Lo único que cambia entonces es también con una N. ¿Ok? Nice. So, esos son los participios. ¿Ok? Para que nos lo aprendamos, porque yo sé que son de los que más nos cuesta. Veamos the second column. Uh, hold, held. Hold. No. Held. The same, all right? Held. Held. <coughs> <clears throat> okay. No new. No keep keep. Kept, oh, no. sorry. Keep kept kept kept, kept 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 No changes, right? Simple past, the same as past participle. Lay. Lay. Depende, fíjense cuál es este verbo. Porque tenemos ley que Hay acostarse. Dos que se acostarse. Y el otro que es de poner huevos. <ríe> o, eh, o echarse, ¿verdad? Lied. Quedarse tirado. Ajá. Entonces, mire, este es, este es laid, pero laid. El, de, el de como poner o colocar es, creo que es lane, con, con, e, con N. ¿Ok? Son dos verbos diferentes. ¿All right? Eh, so, lead, led, and. Led. The yeah. same. Leave. Left. 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 The same. Lend. I, I got this. Lend. Yeah. <laughs> Lend and the same. Lend. All right. Let. Does it change? Yeah. Let. Yeah. Let. The same. It doesn't change. Ahí sí. Fíjense que un tip para los que tal vez estamos. Ah, aquí está el de lie. Miren. Lane. Este es, perdón. Pero es que lie también está el lie de acostarse o de colocar algo. Que, y este de lie de mentir y se escriben igual. Pero, ah, sí. son, pero son lied, de... muy bien, exactly. Lied de mentir, es que me estaba, me mintió lied. ¿verdad? Ahí sí es lied y es un verbo regular. Ok, entonces si es lie, es ley de colocar. Y si es lie de mentir, es simplemente con la D al final, como regular. Ok, y what I wanted to tell you es, por ejemplo, si se fijan, put, no cambia. Casi que todas las monosílabas se quedan igual, así, ¿verdad? Let, 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 put, 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 cut, 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 c
en participio. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? Cuando ocupo el had. ¿verdad? Yo hab me había convertido. ¿okay? Yo me convierto, become, pero si yo quiero decir me había convertido, entonces le pongo ¿qué? Had. El had. Había convertido. ¿Ok? Nice. Uh, so, guys, remember to learn verbs, okay? These, these are pronunciation exercises. I don't, I don't understand, Sullivan, what you mean. <clears throat> okay, so, basically, that's it. You have already uh, seen, ya acaban de ver, ¿verdad? Um, ya vieron, entonces, cómo utilizar el past perfect. ¿Ok? Y aquí obviamente les tomé la capturita de pantalla de lo que estaba, de los ejemplos que tenía. ¿Ok? Y para que se ubiquen un poco más, si se fijan, este es el presente, pero las dos acciones fueron en pasado. ¿Ok? Yo enfatizo el when, ¿sí? When, ¿sí? Cuando yo llegué, mis amigos ya se habían comido todo. Llegué tarde, ¿verdad? Pero las dos cosas pasaron antes del presente. Okay, so that's basically it. I need more examples for you. I have here a win when the Titanic. Oh my God. <clears throat> when the Titanic. Okay, when the Titanic. Ah. Uh, no, es que al revés era. When it sank, así sería. O puedo decir, when the Titanic sank, cuando se hundió el Titanic. Aquí me equivoqué, ¿ok? ¿Cuál era el auxiliar? El auxiliar de... When it sank, cuando, ¿de qué hablo? Del Titanic, right? When it sank... Oh. Uh -huh. when, the when the Titanic sank, it, refiriéndome al, al barco de nuevo, okay, it had, aquí le falta entonces la D, ¿verdad? it had already sailed some days. Desde el principio le dije que le faltaba la D y me dijo que sí era la S. <laughs> sí, perdón, yo pensé que me hablaba, eh, no me había fijado, ok. So, así o podemos poner, Uh, the Titanic had already sailed some days when it sank. Okay? Para no repetir otra vez the Titanic, digo it. it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, puede ir al inicio o puede ir en medio, right? Lo mismo it. como vimos ayer. The same it. thing. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce? It. 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 Has. it. it. Mm -hmm. Es que tenemos el it, que es más alargadito, y el otro es it. Es como un schwa, que es el como sonido schwa. más difícil. El sonido más difícil oh, que, ten, yeah. que tienen los gringos. En todas las palabras lo meten. Sorry if I say gringo. Ok. No, 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 no. Ok. So, uh, when the ambulance arrives, miren. O cuando la policía llega, ¿verdad? Ya se ha muerto la gente. Ya ha habido el desastre, ok. So, when the ambulance, ambulance arrived, cuando llegó la ambulancia, ya died. se había muerto. Él ya <laughs> se había muerto. ¿Quién? Uh, my, my, my dad, for example. Sí, así um, pasó. Ok, ya. Yeah. funny, but it's real. <laughs> for, just to give you real examples, ¿verdad? Eso, eso para que veamos los ejemplos. Before I drank a pill, I had thought on canceling. Había pensado en cancelar mi clase, right? Este es otro ejemplo. Before I drank a pill, I had thought on canceling the class. Mm -hmm. Había pensado en cancelar la clase. Ok, guys, now you can give me examples. Con eso nos... Con eso quiero ver si es cierto que, que comprendimos el, el example o el topic. So tell me examples, your own examples. Ya no me copien. Díganme sus propios ejemplos. Be unique and original. I had gone when she arrived. Excellent. I had, podríamos decir también como para enfatizar, ya, ya me había ido. I had already I had gone. gone. Uh -huh. When she arrived. It happened to me, you know, when she arrived, when my mom arrived, you, say, you can say that. 
Okay. We have a contraction for I have. It's not I. Yeah. I already. Yeah. You can okay. do that contraction like this. I'd already gone when my mom arrived. Mm -hmm. No sé, no sé, les ha pasado. Ah, yeah. ¿A qué hora llegaste? Yo ya no estabas cuando llegué, ¿verdad? Ya te había ido cuando llegué. You had left, ido, ¿verdad? De, de abandonar el lugar. You had left when I arrived. Ya vi, te había ido. And I arrived two minutes ago. Y me dijeron que te acababa de ir. No les ha pasado. Que uno is too impatient. We are too impatient. I've uh, already eaten. Okay. When my husband asked when my husband finished to cook. Okay. Eaten when my husband finished. Remember to to make yeah. the the start, the start started to cook. To cook. Oh, okay. Started. It's not okay. husband. Oh, it's not his husband. Not... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm learning to use the computer. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, cuando yo ocupé la computadora por primera vez, pasado, tenía un montón de haber existido. All right. When I used a computer for the first time, the computers had been existing. Ahí puedo decir también habían estado existiendo o had existed. Habían existido for years, right? Okay. Nice. I have. I need another example. Everybody, I need examples. Uh, Before we finish. Uh, yes. Yes, my... Have... yes. My son had already studied some English mm -hmm. before he moved to Ireland. Very good, Ireland. Uh -huh. Ireland. I already studied. Remember the past when we finished with the Y, they change. Okay, my my son had already studied uh, studied so, English. When, aquí no voy a coma. It's not necessary. When he left, ¿sí me dijo? Yeah, he left to Ireland, Irlanda. All right, Ireland. Okay, Susana, give me your example. Uh, you have watched the movie before it showed up on theater. Okay. You had watched the movie uh -huh. before. Uh, before it showed up. It showed up on, on cinemas. Okay, cinema or th Movie theater, okay. Movie movie theater. So movie cinema. theater. It's more common. Yeah, movie. Oh. The. This is a little hard word. Theater. Okay. Good uh, example. Theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> uh what what happened with question? Ah, oh, okay. Ask me questions. Have you have you eaten and uh, have, have you or had? Had you? Okay. Had you? Uh, or taking pills for the flu? Have you taken pills for flu? Uh -huh. Pleaf? What is pleaf? <laughs> pills. I don't know, guys. I have a horrible headache. Sorry. Estoy bien okay. Uh, had you taken pills for flu? Question mark. Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Contrast, remember, we can use habías tomado después de qué o antes de qué? Uh, uh, so before the take. class. Had you already eaten? Uh, had you already eaten when what? Sullivan is texting. When you uh, took have you already eaten when you took pills? No, I have not eaten when I drank the That's pills. A good one. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good example. Okay. Um, si se fijan, no solo necesito decir when, puedo decir también before, right? Before the class started. Cualquier conjunción que se refiera a, a, a tiempo, okay? 
siempre tengo que decir antes de que algo pasara. Mm -hmm. Antes o después, o cuándo. Mm -hmm. No puedo terminarlos. Are you taking pills for flu? No puede terminar ahí. Tiene que, yeah. tiene que ser ese otro complemento. No, you can just use it like that. ¿Habías tomado pastillas? Normalmente es, es, es para relacionar otro evento. ¿Habías tomado pastillas antes de que tomara ¿Cómo? cerveza? Ah, ya. o sea, si que no, digamos, por si eso estamos, ocupo el have. Si estamos en una conversación así como de tú a tú, yo lo puedo dejar hasta ahí. Pero si estamos dando un ejemplo así más este, a detalle como estamos ahorita, tiene que ser así completo. Todo depende, vaya, que uno siempre está hablando. Es que, mira, fíjate que me desmayé. O fíjate que me eh, vomité y ya habías tomado algo, ¿verdad? Ahí sí, porque ya estamos en contexto, ¿ok? Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Y si no, cuando usted llega a un hospital, le dicen, ¿ha tomado algún medicamento? ¿Have you taken any medicine? Ahí mejor le ponemos el have, ¿verdad? Como ha tomado, o sea, desde, el, desde hace un tiempo atrás hasta este momento. No, no las dos cosas en pasado. Uh -huh. Have you taken any medicine? Yeah, just in case if you, have, if you need a surgery. And make sure, guys, don't confuse taking or taken. All right? Taking, taken. All right? Uh, the other that people confuse is this. Um, driving y driven. ¿Verdad? Mucha gente se confunde con la pronunciación. Así que uno es con ING, el otro es el, el que ocupamos para present o past. Perfect. More examples. I had already sent the email when you asked me. Ask me. Ok, thank you. I had already sent the email. Three minutes of. Thank you. Yeah. When you ask me for it, cuando me lo pidiste. Mm -hmm. Nice. Any other? The, the three minutes left, guys. I need more examples. And I. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have a question. Tell me, Beatriz. With the idea. Mm -hmm. And ask. Eh, oh, no sé. yeah, yeah. When you asked me, cuando me, pre, me lo pediste. Thank you, Susana. Oh. Claro, es, pre, es pasado. Muy bien. Good job. Mm -hmm. Aplauso, guys. Nadie me lo había dicho. Solo, no just pensar. was a tricky. You, you have to ah, say. <laughs> solo les estaba probando. <laughs> All right. I was just testing you guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, any other example? Uh, Jancy mm -hmm. Andrea. Yes. I hadn't bathed when I, when the minibus arrived. Sorry, esa, esa cara es porque esto es súper amargo de limoncito. It's super bitter. All right. I had... Yeah? I had no bathed when the minibus arrived. Have not what? Bathed. Bañado. All right, bathed, d, 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 d. al final, I bathed. have not bathed, d, bathed, uh -huh. I have not bathed when the bus arrived, good job, mm -hmm. sorry, eh, si se fijan, bait, yo sí, bait, aquí sería entonces el la ed, verdad, bathed, all right, bathed, okay, in this case, Taking a shower, si nos compli se nos complica menos, ¿verdad? Taking a shower. Uh -huh. yeah, yes, Marina. Right. Me adelanté, right? Yeah. Ya lo había pensado antes que Marina lo dijera. Ajá. Dígamelo, Marina. <laughs> La teacher ya lo había pensado antes que yo lo dijera. Ajá. The teacher had thought before I say, said. Okay. Said it. Very good. Remember, before say it in passive said. Okay. Good examples. I love it, guys. I hope that you have learned. Um, And of course, we'll continue tomorrow. Eh, no estoy segura si mañana, ¿verdad? Todo depende que si me dicen que sí, pues ahí les vamos a escribir en el chat. Así que... Night o'clock. 
nine o'clock. I have to leave. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Sí, nos vemos mañana sí, y si no, ahí le vamos a escribir, ¿verdad? No yo, Espero sino que. Espero que se mejoren también. Espero que sí. Sí. Vaya. Pues. Bye bye. bye. See Chao. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. No estoy segura, pero maybe. Bye bye. 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 Thank you. Yeah.